tarot. I miss Vicky, and I'm going to use the tarot to see if we can gain more insight into unsolved mysteries, deaths, and disappearances. I also want to thank Miss Amanda for asking me to join her wonderful Afterlife Adventures family. If you haven't watched her amazing spirit box sessions, you need to start now. She is truly gifted. Let's get started. Welcome Truth Seekers. Today I'm going to do a reading for Kristen Pfaff. She was a bassist in Courtney Lowe's band for a couple of years um, and had a very mysterious death. We're going to ask the spirit guides to send me clear and direct messages so we might find out what really happened surrounding her death. And I surrounded myself, the cards, and my viewers with the white light of truth and protection. All right. I want to start with some oracle cards, <clears throat> pull a few oracle cards just to get the feel of what we need to talk about and ask the cards about. She was a very talented musician. She died June 16, 1994. She was only 27. And apparently she was leaving Courtney Love's band and going back to Minneapolis where she had, a, had had a band and had roots, friends and all that. And she brought her U-Haul she was getting ready to pick up the last of her things, and she was found dead in the bathtub, apparently from drugs. The coroner opened the case and closed it, and never even did an autopsy or a tox I guess a toxology report on her. She was leaving. She was leaving Courtney, just like. Kurt was, and the, the very strange thing about this was, this was only a couple of months after Kurt died. Apparently, Courtney was very jealous of, of Kristen. She thought that Kristen was having an affair with Kurt. She was jealous of Kurt, thought everybody was having an affair with him. A couple days before Kurt died, um, he had bought a couple of round trip plane tickets uh, for himself and some unknown person, um, and she told people that Courtney told people that she thought it was for for Kristen. All right, we have open up. We're going to try unexpected message, new friendship, <clears throat> destined, and runner. All right, well. I think we're hoping the cards will open up about this. The unexpected message could have been her leaving whole. She, Courtney Love, told people she was just going on hiatus, but in tr truth, she told her friends, she told everyone that she was going to move back to Minneapolis where she had had a band and leave. She also told people she was afraid of Courtney. New friendships, she was going to get new friendships. The unexpected message I'm not sure about, destined and runner. She was a runner. I'm going to leave these over here for now just to see what happens. <clears throat> All right, we're going to start with the tattoo tarot. Just add, pull a few cards, see if we can find out what happened with Kristen. She apparently was starting a new life, um, came back just to pick up the last of her things. She had a U-Haul to take back. And I believe that very same night, or the next day, I'm not sure, um, she was found dead in the bathtub with drug paraphernalia around her, even though she had gone through rehab and apparently didn't do drugs anymore. She died June 16, 1994. She was only 27. <sighs> All right, we'll pull a few cards. Kurt apparently considered her a friend. I don't know if they were more involved. He said she was extremely talented. Kristen had gone to college. 
she was an excellent musician very talented much more so than courtney love ever was and apparently when she got to seattle the drug scene there was heavy duty into heroin and drugs it was almost like you had to do drugs to be in the bands <laughs> which is kind of dumb but that's the way it was all right let's see what these cards have to say before we go on all right the first card ace of swords this is clarity this is truth this also shows an open brain this could be Kristen realizing that it wasn't a good place for her the crown has little claws in it if you can see that but swords stand for truth and clarity they're also two-edged but this is almost like her brain was opening up to the truth of her situation next card is the the knight of pentacles Okay, the Knight of Pentacles, basically it has to do with money. Um, it also can be a gift. The Knight is very slow. He's a very slow-moving Knight. Some people even call him lazy. He's very grounded. The Earth, it's also about, can be about health. And I think she knew, I think Kristen knew that this environment the drug environment was unhealthy for her. Also being around Courtney Love, a lot of people died around her or had mishaps. So she was awakened to that and making changes. We have the Five of Cups. Hope you can see that. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, I'm a little bit hoarse today. Five of Cups shows a woman, a sorrowful woman crying walking away, almost feeling like everything is lost. Even though there are two cups in bloom, the three were spilled, and that seems to be all she's seen. Um, I don't know if she, she felt like it was hopeless. She felt like it was hopeless with the band hole in Seattle. The Nine of Cups. This is a positive card. It shows hope. It shows choices that you've made have come to fruit. It, it, also, it also shows that uh, you have a lot of options. I believe she had a lot of options. From um, everything I've read about her, her friends, she was full of hope, wanted to start a new band, get healthy. And she was uh, on her way to a new life. Here again, we have the Eight of Cups. This is so significant. The Eight of Cups shows someone looking at the moon, looking at the sun, looking at his future, and walking away from something he's built. Something, it could be something good or bad, but it's something that he's done with. He's just done walking away into something new, not really sorrowful, just ready for a different life, a different environment and a new start <clears throat> and here we have the seven of the major arcana card the chariot it's the seventh card it shows motion it shows getting control it shows travel these cards are really right spot on to what i believe kristen was going through i mean she was ready to leave make a new start she'd gone to rehab she didn't have a drug problem. All right, let's pull a few more from a different deck. Let, let's see if we can find out what happened with her death. How could this have happened? How could someone with her U-Haul pickup, U-Haul truck and pickup, coming to pick up the last of her, her things, telling people she was moving back to Minneapolis where she was happy, with new friends, old friends, starting up her band again. How could she commit suicide in the bathtub with heroin? It doesn't make a lot of sense. All right, let's see what the cards show. It seems like people around Courtney Love die, are all addicted to mostly heroin, drugs. 
not real real positive environment and I think that there's a lot of questions to be asked Courtney was heard telling people that she was friends with the coroner the coroner didn't do a toxology report or much of anything he just they just saw the drugs and considered it a drug overdose case open case closed that was it it doesn't seem like a logical conclusion but apparently the Seattle police really kind of that was their MO that's the way they worked all right we have the three of cups this shows someone feeling like they were drowning and wanting to to be with the happy people I think that was Kristen obviously she felt like she'd been drowning drowning in in Seattle especially around Courtney all the drama all the drugs she didn't want that anymore this is a magician. This card shows that you have everything. A person has everything they could want to make their life better, to manifest. It's a card of manifestation. There's a cup there on the table. It also can be negative if you look at it as a trickster. Um, maybe someone tricked her. There's a cup there. Maybe when she was there, they somehow gave her something to drink shot her up with heroin. It just doesn't make sense. All right, here we have the, wow, here we are again. The judge, uh, the justice card, it's number 11 in the major arcana. We see a nurse holding the scales of justice and she's hiding something behind her back. Maybe Nurse Courtney with her massive dose of heroin in a needle, that's what I see. Also, justice is the scales of justice. From what I understand, Kurt was going to cut Courtney out of her will, out of his will, um, wanted to do divorce proceeding. Courtney was hysterical and very, very jealous and very, very angry. This card was upside down. This is the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords shows someone fighting back. I'm going to read it upright. These last few readings I've done have been so negative, I don't feel like I need the reversals. All right, the Nine of Swords, this is, they call this the Wounded Warrior card. It's someone who's tired. It's someone who's fighting back. In the reverse position, it could mean basically someone who's given up, but I don't believe Kristen had given up, so I'm going to read it upright. It just shows someone fighting back against the drugs, against the negativity. And then we have the Nine of Swords. This card shows a woman in bed. Basically, it, it's the nightmare card. All these swords hanging over her. I think this is Courtney. I think Courtney feels very guilty, and I think she is very guilty. In fact, I read an article online that said, I think it was in 2006, Courtney went into a police station in Los Angeles, hysterical, confessed that she had killed Kurt and she couldn't take the guilt anymore. And all the police did was to call her daughter and her mother and they, they left with her. They didn't take it seriously. Seattle police didn't take it seriously. So this is the nightmares. Maybe Kristen was having nightmares. Maybe Courtney was having nightmares. Maybe both of them. Here's the Eight of Cups again. We got this that just with the other deck. Walking away, feeling like you've accomplished all you can accomplish, walking away. It's interesting. All right, I think I'll read use these, read this deck, see if we can get a little bit different perspective on Kristen. Who killed Kristen? We want to know what happened. I believe she was murdered. It doesn't make any sense that she'd come back to get all of her things and then take a massive dose of heroin. She wasn't in that frame of mind. It just wasn't her. It wasn't what was going on in her life. But Courtney was, was there. 
Courtney was there, her little minions were there. Apparently she had a lot of drug addicted people around her and she even funded their drug use. I find that horrifying. Little slaves, she was, com she was making an army of little addicted slaves. Kristen didn't want any part of it. What comes up. She left her, Kurt left Courtney. Everyone who had any sense left Courtney, but they paid the price apparently. A lot of people were afraid of her. But who goes around and pays for someone's addiction? I, that's a monster in my mind. A monster. All right, here's a few more. We may not get real good answers, but we're getting a lot of information. All right, we've got the sun. This is Kristen going to the sun, and I hope that's where she is now. I believe that she's in a better place. I think she had a good heart. So sad, such a young, talented person. But she's going to the sun now. Then we have the Seven of Cups. This is, again, the wish card. It shows someone trying to decide what to do lots of bad choices. This is almost, I feel like this is someone under the influence of drugs of some kind. Somebody trying to decide but they, all their choices are bad. I think she left because of waking up. We have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is a loving person, a good person. Cups are love, emotions, everything good. I believe this is Kristen. I'm gonna put this card over here because I feel like that's her. Then we have the Emperor. The Emperor is a powerful, powerful person. It can be a man or a woman. It's someone that has total control over people. You don't wanna cross him. He's not especially negative, but he's just a powerful man. I'm not sure who this would be. I have to get a few more cards. And then we have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is full of fire, not always somebody you want to cross. I'm not sure who this would be either. I want to hold these two cards here. There's the Justice card again. With <laughs> She's holding the scales with a sword. This is about law. This is about money. This is about... It could be police, it could be court, it could be lawyers, and it's somebody trying to balance it. The reverse of this is a different woman. She has different colored hair. The woman on top has black hair, the woman on the bottom has brown hair. So there were two women involved trying to do the right thing, trying to do what they thought were the right thing. Courtney wanted everything. She wanted revenge. She seems like a person full of I hate, I hate, I don't want to say bad things about somebody, but she herself has said all these things. The woman on the other side, I think, was Kristen, and I don't think justice was done. I think she was murdered. These two people, I'm not sure who they are. The Emperor, it could have been Kurt. I think she had very positive feelings for Kurt. He said that he thought she was very talented and he thought she was a lovely person. Whether they were having a, an affair or not, I don't know. The Queen of Wands is someone full of fire, somebody positive that you want to be around. The Queen of Cups and the Queen of Wands both could represent Kristen. These are happy people. These are happy women, powerful but, but good. Do one more, pull one more set of cards here. Who killed Kristen? Because I believe that it was a setup. I, I believe she came back and there was somebody full of hate, full of anger, full of revenge that gave her drugs, put her in the bathtub, staged the scene. I mean, all the lies that we've heard and the known lies from Courtney lies about this, lies about who found her. Everything connected to these deaths are full of lies and manipulations and dark
darkness. Just darkness. I need to pull a few more cards. I'd like to know what happened with her death. if we can get any more clarification. All right, we have the Three of Swords. This is heartbreak. This is jealousy. I don't know if you can see that. This is, this, there's a woman that's just really <sighs> angry looking. Also, the Three of Swords can mean a threesome. It can mean three people involved. Was that Courtney? Courtney, Kristen, and Kurt, all three of them. Was this about the, what was a triangle in Court, Courtney's eyes? I don't know. Probably. Then we have death. This is the death card, number 13. Yeah, I think, I think it's pretty plain what happened. Then we have the King of Swords. The King of Swords is someone who's swift, powerful, usually tells the truth, but it can be very hurtful. This is about painful truths. I think these three cards sum it up really well. We have the Three of Swords, we have the three people involved in heartbreak, Kurt, Courtney, and Kristen. Death, obviously death, is what happened. And there's the King of Swords, this could be also a woman. It doesn't have to be a man. You cross the, the king of swords and you're going to be basically in trouble. This is really what happened. It sums it up. There was a, a lot of jealousy, hate, drug use, revenge. It caused Kristen's death. I don't believe she committed suicide. The king of swords. Wow. King of Swords also can be a truth seeker. Maybe the truth will come out someday. I don't know that Courtney will ever be punished in this life, but maybe she's already being punished for her, her crimes, which is what I believe. In this picture, this King of Swords has cut off the head, cut off his, the head of someone. I think that's what Courtney did. She cut off the heads of everybody who she hated felt threatened by, and all, anything, anybody crossing her or leaving her. Okay, we have a couple more. I'm going to pull a few more oracle cards. Just a few more. I, this is almost a simple reading to me. It's, it's just so clear what happened. And it's so sad that the coroner, Courtney's friend, couldn't do the right thing. What was she promising this friend? this coroner who was her friend. What did she give him to do this for her? She had a lot of money. She had a lot of influence. That's too much. Too many cards here. What did she give him? I guess she could give him anything he wanted and probably did. Money, sex, drugs, who knows? It's not beneath her. I don't believe it was beneath her to do that. I like this ending, but the cards, the cards are being stubborn. We'll pull two. Manifest. Karmic partner. Wow. I wonder if Courtney and Kurt could be considered karmic partners in this, or maybe Kristen. Manifest means to make happen. That isn't really very clear. We'll pull. Maybe a couple more. I'm trying to end this. I think I've actually have ended it. I feel like this is a simple reading. I don't see the details of Kristen's death, but I think from the evidence, from the things everyone has said, ghosted. Okay, there we go. The King of Swords, that's, that's one thing I was thinking about. The King of Swords also can can gaslight someone or ghost someone, ghosted. Also, I believe that Courtney's told people that Kurt's ghost has visited her. She's, she's just so hard to believe because of the lies. The King of Swords, 
ghosted. I think I'm going to end it here. I think we have our answer. I mean, it's pretty obvious. Hang around and hang around Courtney and you, you get the death card. I'm going to end this reading because I don't think there's more to get out of it. I think it's really cut and dried. It's sad. It's depressing and we can't really prove anything. This is all just a reading. It's just meant for entertainment purposes. So I'm going to close the circle and we'll see you next time.